This video is sponsored by Platinum. Welcome to the first video of the data handling exam practice. Question 1. The mathematical literacy marks for grade 12a, b and c are shown in the tables. The box and whiskers plots are also shown below the tables. So we've got our tables and below the tables we have our box and whiskers plots. So let's answer the questions. 1.1. 1 .1. Give the minimal marks scored by Elena in 12C. All right, the minimum would be the lowest. And for 12C, the lowest is 25. You could also read it off the 12C bugs and whiskers plot. And of course, this would be the minimum. Remember, that's the minimum. That's Q1, that's Q2, that's Q3, and that is the maximum. So for 12C, if you go down the minimum uh, line vertically, you'll see. Remember, the lines are in increments of 2, so that's 22, 24, in between 24 and 26, we've got 25, which is the minimum value for 12C. So... 25. 1.2. Determine the modal mark for 12A. All right, that we need to go see off the table, the mode for 12A. Um, fortunately, the values are already in ascending order, so it's easy to see the mode is 41, because 41 appears once, twice, three times, four times. So the mode or the modal value for 12A is 41. Calculate the mean value for 12B. All right, to calculate the mean value for 12B, we will add all the values for 12B, get the total of all the values, and then divide it by the number of those values, uh, or the number of learners in 12B. All right, so let's do that. All right, so what we want to do is we would like to add all the values for 12b um, and we divided by how many of those values there are so let's start adding all the way from 19 to 89 all right that's going to be quite a long calculation from 19 so we take 19 plus 21 i will add the rest of the values of screen so when we add all the values of the uh, marks in 12b, we get 898. All right, so that's the total. And of course, the total number of the learners in 12b will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So we've got 24 learners in 12b. So the total is 898 898 and there are 24 learners in 12b so that's how we calculate our mean so our mean value will be 898 divided by 24 898 divided by 24 so then the mean value is equal to run it off to two decimal places will be 37,42. Moving on, how many learners in 12B scored more than the 75th percentile? All right, so how many of the learners in 12B scored more than the 75th percentile? All right, so let's look at that. Okay, so we are looking at 12B and we want to know how many learners scored more than the 25th percentile. We know that's the minimum zero we know that is q1 represented by the 25th percentile 25 percent and the q2 is represented by the 50th percentile 25th percentile 50th percentile and over here we've got q3 which is represented by the 75th percentile and they've got maximum um, value 
which would represent 100% of all the values. So if we want to know how many of the 11 scored more than the 75th percentile, we need to get the 75th percentile value. So if we go down the number line, 75th percent view, you'll see it's over there. And of course, that's 40, 42, 44, 46. So the um, 75th percentile value is at 46. So then if we go back to the table, the 12B table, uh, we basically, uh, the question is basically asking how many learners scored more than 46? They scored more than the 75th percentile. So how many learners scored more than uh, 46? That's one, two, three, four, five, six learners. So six uh, learners scored more than the, the 75th percentile. So now we could say six learners scored more than the 75th percentile. Moving on to the next question. 1.6. Calculate the interquartile range for 12C. All right. Again, I will remind you that that would be the minimum. That would be Q1, Q2 the median, Q3, and that is the maximum. So in order to calculate our interquartile range, we take Q3 and we minus Q1. So for Q3, we could see if we go down to the number line is at 48. So Q3 is 48 minus Q1 and Q1, if you go down the number line, you will see that it's between 32 and 34, so it's 33. 48 minus 33 will give you an interquartile range value of 15. So the interquartile range is equal to 15. Moving on to 1.7. All right, 1.7, write down the values of the five number summary for 12C. All right, we know when we talk of the num five number summary, we talk of the minimum, then Q1, then the median Q2, then Q3, and then the maximum. All right, so looking at the 12C uh, box and whiskers plot, that's gonna be the minimum there. So the minimum would be, you can see it's between, that's 22, 24, it's 25. Because it's between uh, 24 and 25, um, 26, so it's 25. Q1, uh, okay, let's go down. Between 32 and 34 is 33. Q2, the median, remember this is Q1 and that's Q2. Q2, the median, if you go down, you'll see it's between 38 and 40. So it must be 39. Q3, if you go down, you'll see that it's exactly at 48. And finally, the maximum, uh, if you go down the box and discuss plots, try to draw a straight line, you'll see that it's between 62 and 63. Therefore, it's equal to 63. So that is your five number summary for 12C. 1.8. If a learner is randomly chosen from 12C, find the probability as a decimal to two decimal places of choosing a learner who scored more than 50 marks. All right, let's go down. This we can find in the tables. Uh, because the marks are in the table. So let's see uh, how many learners scored more than 50 marks. Again, the values are already in ascending order, which makes it easy. So how many scored more than 50? It will be this one with 55. fifty-six, fifty-seven, sixty-two, sixty-three. 56, 57, 62, 63. All those are more than 50 marks. So only one, two, three. Five learners scored more than 50 marks. So we need to write that as a probability. So this is how we write the probability. Five learners got more than 50 marks out of a total. Remember, right, we always write the uh, probability out of a total of, there are 24 learners in 12C. So five out of 24 learners scored uh, more than 50 marks. But we were asked to write this as a decimal 
to two decimal places. So then you go to your calculator. So then it would be 5 out of 24 equals 2. And if you want to write as a decimal, we can use the S2D button to convert. So if you press that button, uh, and we had to, of course, write this to two decimal places, we can write this as 0, 0,21. All right, moving on to 1.9. Uh, 1.9, what is the percentage of learners who scored less than the first quartile or the 25th percentile? Remember the first quartile and the 25th percentile is the same value in 12A. And that's easy. We know that the 25th percentile or the first quartile is here. So quartile 1 or the 25th percentile is at this point. So if we go down the number line from that point, let's try again. All right, so if you try to draw a straight line, you can actually use a ruler for this in your own exam. You'll find that the first quartile or the 25th percentile is at 32 for 12A. So looking at this question again, what is the percentage of learners who scored less than the first quartile or 25 percentile in 12A? This question is basically asking you how many learners scored less than 32 in 12A. So if we go up to the 12A table, all right, we can see that we have the ones that are less than 32 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got five learners who are less than 32. But we have to write this as a percentage, so we have to put it over the total. So then we can say 5 out of the 25 learners scored less than uh, 32. How do you write a fraction as a percentage? You just multiply by 100. So if you go to your calculator, That will give you 20%. All right, thank you.